I'm literally just like bird boxing my way through this. I do not want to open my eyes until I get this cleansing balm off of my face. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right y'all, as you can see, I got like a lot of makeup on my face. I do need to get this off my face. And so I figured why not do another super extra nighttime skin Super extra nighttime skincare routine. I got so many new products to try out. I'm very excited. As you can see, I got a new angle. I think this angle is a little bit better. Let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing, and this is one of the repeats, okay? My tried and true e.l.f. melting balm. I love this stuff. It's gonna get all this up off my face. I swear by this. As long as you're not allergic to it, this is the this is the stuff. Go get you some e.l.f. from the Target. So Okay, your local Target and you will be straight. So I'm gonna first start off with this and as you can see, I need more, okay? I need to run to my local Target and get me some more of this cleansing balm. So I'm gonna go on with this first and then I will use these Julep Hydrating Bamboo Water Cleansing Cloths to wipe it off, okay? So I'm not gonna stop in between and talk. I'm gonna put this on and then wipe it off with this. It is so important that, especially if you have skin issues, like I have skin issues, you know, breakouts and hyperpigmentation. It is so important that you take care of your skin underneath makeup. Don't spend all this time focused on slaying your face to the gods or whatever, you know, this generation says. Don't spend so much time on that if you're not gonna spend just as much time prioritizing your skincare. Cause wearing all this makeup will break your skin out and it will leave you looking much older than you actually are. Honestly, when your skin is healthy, it makes your makeup look so much better. Always prioritize skincare. You gotta have a nice canvas to paint on. You feel me? I always do my lips last because I don't want to taste this stuff. And I always like put a lot of emphasis on the eye area because I do not want any leftover mascara. I saw this video, he was talking about this woman. She left her mascara on for like 25 years and would just reapply it every single day. And she had like hard bits of mascara stuck under her eye. It freaked me out. Make sure you put a big emphasis on getting that stuff right up off your eyelashes. I think this should be good. Last but not least, the lips. I'm literally just like bird boxing my way through this. I do not want to open my eyes until I get this cleansing balm off of my face. I always take this thing and I make sure I go underneath to get any and all of that product up off my face. This is my yucky, yucky rag. Now it's time to actually wash our face. So I am going to go in with the Sweet Chef Carrot Ginger and Salicylic Acid Pore Cleanser. Now this, I believe I got in my first Mystery Ipsy bags. I've been using it. I love it. It's just a nice soft cleanser. Foams up, which is really nice. Let's go ahead and get into it. We are cleansed. After our sweet chef, we're gonna go ahead and do some scrubs. First and foremost, we're gonna go in with the Ancient Cosmetics Birthday Cake Lip Scrub to take care of these crusty dusties that I got right here. So I'm gonna use this on my lips. And we actually got this in our Allure box today. And this is the Happy Skin by Lush. And it is an enzymic or enzymic facial exfoliator, okay? This stuff is absolutely wonderful. I'm actually gonna do this first and then scrub my lips. So gang, 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 let's get into it. <laughs> get it into it. Let's get into it. Always, 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 before you exfoliate, wet your face, okay? Don't be exfoliating on no dry skin. Okay, my skin is nice and wet. And we're just gonna go ahead and go into this. Looks like butter. Smells good too. I love when skincare smells good or has no scent. Like either smell like what I want you to smell like or don't smell like anything at all. I'm just gonna softly massage this into my skin. You do not want to be a rubbing super hard. Bro, this smells so good. <laughs> Make sure I get my nails. 
It just smells delicious. I love things that smell delicious. All right, now I'm gonna go on with my lip scrub, get these crusties and dusties up off my lips. As you can see, I've been digging into her. Okay, she's almost gone. Luckily, I have another one, different flavor, same uh, awesomeness. Y'all, it tastes so sweet. <laughs> and it literally smells like birthday cake. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off. Remember, we do not use our towel for rubbing off the exfoliants, okay? We do not rub off exfoliants with towels. That just makes it even worse and just digs into the skin and disrupts the, the, the barrier, okay? The barrier. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off and then I'll be right right back. And we're back. <laughs> All right, so I am physically exfoliated. Now it's time to go in with a chemical exfoliant, which like I said, don't do all the time. You never want to do like physical and then chemical back to back all the time. I'm just doing the most because I'm filming. I'm gonna go in with my Ren Skincare. Love this stuff. Ren Clean Skincare Glycol Lactic Radiance Renewal Mask with AHA. Okay, we're gonna go in with this. Hopefully it has a nice scent to it. <laughs> this stuff is so fun looking. It's just orange. I wonder if everything in their line is orange. Making sure to avoid the eyes. We're covered in Glycol Lactic Radiance Renewal Cream. I'm gonna let this sit for 10 minutes and I will be right back. And we're back. It has been sitting on my skin for about 10 minutes. It does tingle just a little bit, but it's not too bad. If you haven't used like a vitamin C or if you're not used to a chemical exfoliant, then you might wanna like start off slow, maybe leave it on for five minutes and wash it off and work your way up to 10. Right now, I'm gonna just go ahead and wash this off my face and we're gonna get to the next step. We've gotten our glycolic lactic acid on. Now, I'm actually gonna go in with one more mask. Now, this is a moisturizing mask and it is by Tri Balm. No, it is Tri Balm. It's by Natural Multitasking Skincare. And it's called the Tri Balm and it is just like a moisturizing stick. You can use it as a cleanser or you can use it as a mask, which is what we're gonna do today. I actually got this from my Allure Beauty Box. Okay, if you're not in that Allure Beauty Box gang gang, what are you doing? Okay, it is literally the most amazing beauty subscription you could have because they give you really nice products, like high quality products for $25 a month and less if you sign up for like six months or an annual. This is what it looks like and I'm just gonna rub this on my skin. Ooh, it feels very balmy. Which, I mean, it's a balm, so. Now, because I'm using this on clean skin, I'm not worried about this balm turning into a Petri dish. I think that is enough. What does it smell like? It smells like something. I can't think of what it smells like, but it smells good. <laughs> I just, I can't quite put my finger on it, okay? I can't quite put my finger on it, but it smells like something. And let me see, maybe it'll say in the ingredients. Uh, where are the ingredients? Oh, geranium and mandarin. Hmm. That's not what I was thinking. Maybe it's the geranium. Maybe that's what I'm smelling. This smells really good, like a soothing kind of scent. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this on my skin for about 10 minutes and I will be right back. We're back. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off and then we're gonna get into this eye mask. I'm not gonna lie, that balm felt really good and my skin does feel very moisturized afterwards. Back to Naked Mole Rat. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't have any cotton pads, but I am gonna try to tone my face with this First Aid Beauty Oil Minimizing Toner with Salicylic Acid. Now, you're supposed to use like a little cotton swab. Uh, I don't own any cotton swabs. So, we're gonna just, uh, we're gonna just put a little bit in the hand and then just pat it on the face. I think that should be enough. I'm just gonna... Rub it in and then. Probably better this way. Definitely better for the environment. Now we're toned. I am going to go in with this Tony Moly, okay? Tony Moly Moisture Boost Cooling Marine Concentrate Serum. I've actually been using this for the past couple of days and I love it. I'm actually gonna buy some more of this stuff. I'm gonna get me the full size if it's not an arm and a leg, which I don't think it should be. Watch this like $80. 
Like I said, I'm gonna keep giving disclaimers. I'm doing the most. Don't do this much every night. This is just like a once in a while thing for me. Now I'm gonna go in with the Rodial Dragon's Blood Eye Mask that hydrate and tone. Mm -mm. And this is what it looks like. I believe I got these in a glossy box. Why is it so difficult to open these? Okay. Shouldn't have to do all that. I think that's how it's supposed to be. We're masked under the eyes and this has to sit for like 20, 30 minutes. I'm gonna do 20 minutes cause ain't nobody got time to be sitting here for 30 minutes. 20 minutes is good for me and I will be right back. And we're back. These have been sitting on my face for about 20 minutes. I'm ready for them to come off. They were actually very, very comfortable. I'm not even gonna lie. Look at these, this so gross looking. <laughs> now we can move on to the things that are actually gonna really stay on my face. First, this is another repeat item. It's going to be my Feel Squalene Facial Oil. Now I did get another facial oil by Keys Soul Care uh, Skin Care. I don't, Alicia Keys' brand. I did get some facial oil from her brand, but I don't want to just like open up a bunch of oils when it's already going to take me forever to get through this one. I'm going to use this. And once that is done, then I'm going to bust out my Keys Soul Care. Okay. In the meantime, that's just going to sit real pretty on my vanity. I'm nice and oiled up. Next, I'm going to go in with my Verso Nourishing Cream with Niacinamide. And I did get this from a glossy box and apparently expensive. I'm just gonna use a little bit underneath my eyes. Cause I think this is what it's for. I think it's for like youthfulness. So they say to put that stuff underneath the eyes. My under eye is moisturized. The next thing, which will be the last thing for my actual face, I'm gonna go in with the, hey honey. Boost it up. Honey Rich Moisturizer. Got this in a mystery Ipsy bag and I'm gonna boost it up, I'm gonna boost up moisture. No old lady cream tonight. It has a real skincare smell. It doesn't really smell good. My moisture does feel boosted. It does feel boosted, but it also stank. Last but not least, the lips. First, I'm gonna go in with my Egyptian Magic. I've been working it through, okay? I've been working it through. And last but certainly not least, one of my favorite things to apply, Cobb Cosmetics Lip Oil. I love this stuff. You guys don't understand. It is probably one of my most favoriteest things. That's why it's almost gone. That is it. Your girl is so fresh and so clean. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Febe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.